Hello everyone, it is Jacob and in this video what I'd like to share with you is few tips or maybe a lot of tips on how to start doing profound maps uh, what would be the entry level damage and I will show you some examples I will give you tips on how to like put a dif different like game mechanics into play on different kinds of builds not only just the, not, not only this one but other ones as well like physical based builds and uh, erosion damage based builds yeah um, let's start with the first thing actually which would be the entry level damage the entry level damage for profound maps would be somewhere around 10 billion dps just to demonstrate it to you uh, this is my build uh, if I put down my candles I'm at around like 8 billion dps let's say I will show you a map clear with this kind of damage I mean it is not the fastest but it is the entry level damage that will allow you to clear uh, profound maps on like decent speed if you use the right strategies and the right and the right game mechanics um, for the game strategy before I get to tips about how to make your build like capable of clearing those maps let's go through the map I will show you uh, the strategy first like the mechanics that will help you with the clear and speed with speed uh, it would be that you of war and yeah just to get as much uh, reward from it as possible you can max it out like I have it here uh, you want more time and you want more monsters from it basically and then you force it through compass and the second mechanic that gives you a lot of speed and a lot of clear and you don't even need to get uh, that much lucky in the game uh, would be nightmare and the most important node in nightmare tree here would be this one which gives you 10% chance to uh, for rare monsters to drop lightning on the ground which gives you a buff that deals aoe damage around you and that's pretty much it i paired those two mechanics i i f i force both of those mechanics through compasses and then i pair it with like more monsters on the map uh, white and blue ones and then with this chest on the end of the map and then with maps that will help you a lot with map sustain like sustaining maps in profound is very easy like before I was starting with like 50 voidland maps and as you can see I found al almost 100 of each of other regions so yeah uh, sustaining profound maps is really easy and now let's get into one of the maps uh, with the low 9 million damage you can even try to start this not really focusing on this one but hey why not hopefully this does not start now oh it does okay you will even see a demonstration of nightmare with low damage as well so keep in mind I'm, I'm on the 9 million 9, 9 billion dps and as you can see in the gameplay uh, the main clear is actually not your damage but the damage of your explosions or uh, yeah exploding monsters basically and I will show you mechanics of how to get uh, explosion to your build for very cheap uh, for physical builds for uh, this called damage based build or elemental damage based builds and even for uh, builds with yuga like mind control and such there are possibilities to get the explosion there as well through cheap itemization or uh, cheap skills uh, cheap yeah cheap skills let's call it like that as you can see not the fastest 
Like monsters are dying, 10 billion damage. The developers actually marked uh, profound maps with 9 billion damage uh, <coughs> required for them. And that is one of the of the numbers that they actually hit right. <laughs> because then it requires like 200,000 survivability and that number is way off. As you can see, if you evade mechanics and evade like AoEs, you can stay alive. <clears throat> and anyway, if you have entry level build, uh, if you get hit by anything from this horse here, it will kill you one shot. You cannot do anything with that. I will swap two more damage just to make it faster. Um, the only thing I did here is I swapped my Pact Spirits to damage ones. Pretty much. I could slot in the candles, but yeah, uh, everyone has access to damage packed spirits, right? You can swap them on demand, pretty much. And if you don't have packed spirits yet, uh, don't worry, you will get them over time, like for free. Uh, we are getting the primal crits for free for every maintenance. We are getting them from events. Yeah, uh, you will get packed spirits over time, don't worry. So explosions and a decent build uh, to get better clear or better experience in profound maps. Most people will tell you that you simply need to get more damage, but even though the advice is not wrong, uh, my advice for everyone would be if you want more quality of life in your maps and you get to around the 10 billion DPS mark, try to get enough survivability to actually survive uh, like uh, AOE damage in the maps, like the <coughs> like on ground effects and the things that uh, explode around the map. The yeah. And, and as you can see, I can just move through the map, everything explodes. I, I will not complete this map because I want to show you how the map goes uh, with the nightmare mechanic going actually. So let's go to the next one. So, so that was nightmare clear basically. You can make decent currency in profound maps with nightmare. But the main reason I have it in my strategy is because of the lightnings and I just picked one and what that lets you do is basically this. You just go forward and you hope that you drop next before the previous one disappears basically. Uh, the lowest the lowest lightning, there are three tiers of them. The lowest one will give you the buff for 15 seconds. Which as you can see I got the buff for like 20 seconds because I've I picked second one and I cleared al almost the entire map with my, nine bi with my 9 billion damage build here. So that was pretty decent example actually. It was will take a you bit if you don't have your lightning buff anymore once you get to that. But yeah, the that's what comes with the lower the damage. But it is definitely worth going for price uh, for these profound maps if you are able to get to the to the 10, 10 billion damage mark because you can farm a lot of FEs really fast in those and you don't need to worry about uh, like sustaining your maps. Now if you find like really tanky rare in the map you can simply pull it into a group of monsters and explode the monsters around it and the rare will, will explode with them. Now talking about the explosions, I will show you how to get explode, like monster explode, into your build. Like the easiest way for most elemental builds, or uh, for most elemental based builds, would be uh, ice imbue. If you use the normal ice imbue, it has this first mod, which gives you like frozen enemies will explode when defeated dealing secondary cold damage equal to 12% of their max life 
that is always on ice in view on the normal one we can check it right here uh ice in view there is this uh like explode mod which requires the monsters to be frozen but if you buy the precise version of the skill uh it has 20 percent chance for any monster defeated to explode which is fairly reliable source because packs if you add monsters to the map the packs consist of like 10 to 15 monsters most of the time so some of them will explode and as you could seen as you could have seen in the footage or in the showcase they, they were exploding for 500 billion damage so yeah you just pair that with increased area and that will take care of most of your clear um, so that's elemental based builds for physical based builds there are these gloves uh, that you can get for fairly cheap like a few FEs like five maybe uh, that would be these ones <laughs> so if you get uh, like any trauma damage source you can use for example added physical damage gives trauma damage as well then traumatized enemies will explode dealing 5% of their max life as damage so this is your explode uh, like really low budget cheap source of explosion when you are starting your build pretty much you can use these gloves for physical builds and uh, added physical damage uh, is this one um, adds 27.5 percent of the main hand weapons damage to base trauma damage so for the gloves to work you need a source of base trauma damage to be able to inflict trauma to monsters actually so that's what this support skill provides you with so yeah just pair your main skill with this and then you will start exploding monsters if you combine that with those gloves <laughs> For um, erosion based builds or like most most of like uh, Yugatus probably and some of the build stacking Carinos and other build stacking builds <coughs> the entry level for explosion for those builds would be memory dagger which gives you wilted enemies defeated by you will explode dealing secondary erosion damage so for any wilt build you can use this dagger um for mind control yoga you do not inflict wilt so with that one uh you can use uh if i'm not mistaken you can use here and not this one so maybe me psychic there is a mod that spreads uh, damage over time to other targets somewhere this one you can use plague for damage over time builds which will which will spread your damage over time to other monsters and that will give you a lot of uh, aoe damage but for a source of explode for uh, mind control yuga i would still use uh, precise ice in view <laughs> yeah so that's that that's a really cheap way to get explode to your build <laughs> and yeah to feel okay in the maps just get enough survivability to actually survive the on ground effects so you don't die randomly throughout the map all the time and that's pretty much it so again to the strategy per war with nightmare and then add whatever you like i add more monsters and more maps map source well, more map drops that's pretty much it in, in this large notes i have just more quant to get more drops and then that's how you can start farming profound maps really for a really cheap really early on actually because getting to 10 billion damage is not that hard it might it might seem hard in the beginning but once you start stacking your 
tier 1 items you get there pretty quickly so yeah i hope this video helps you i believe that it will help a lot of new players here so yeah uh, give it a thumbs up share with it other new players that you know of I thank you guys for watching and i hope i will see you in the next video bye